Hi, my name is Becky. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I do crafts, wet felting, and Nuno felting. Could you please help me get to 10,000 subscribers? Because I would love to go live on air with you so we could felt together. And the only way that you could do that in YouTube world is to get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you, you get a chance, could you please hit that subscribe button? Now, today's video, I wanna go over the tools or supplies that you can use in wet felting and in Nuna felting. Next week's video, I'll go over the embellishments that you could add to your wet felted or Nuno felted pieces. Without further ado, let's get to the tools or supplies that you can use in wet felting. Okay, so the tools for wet felting and Nuno felting. I, I would say the main ones that you will need is um, water, soap, bubble wrap, table, a container and like a bowl that you can add the water to, or what I like to use, and I got, I got this at, um, at Home Depot. You could probably get it at Lowe's or um, your local hardware store. And basically you just pump, you pump that, and then it sprays out the water and you can adjust it with this nozzle, you can adjust um, the stream uh, of the water and how strong you want it and whatnot. Um, I, I really love this, so I recommend this, but I also use this, and this is called like a ball brazer, I think it's how you pronounce it. And you just squeeze it, suck in the water, and then squeeze the ball and the water comes out. And I, um, this is the first thing that I used in my wet felting. You probably have to order it online. I'll see um, if I can find one and then put it in the, um, put the link in the description box below so you can grab one. Um, but if you don't wanna wait, you can just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up that sprayer over there. Okay, so soaps. <laughs> and. <laughs> If you're starting out felting, you'll know that there's like this controversy of, should I use olive oil soap? It's the best soap to use in felting. I do agree that olive oil soap is honestly like, it's great. Not only does it like help my hands, but the lather of it is just different. It's got like a, like a silky texture to it when you're felting and it just feels so good on your hands. Um, it's, it's just, it's very gentle on your hands. Dawn is very nice too. Um, except I've noticed when I, and I felt a lot. So if you're not felting a lot, Dawn is perfectly fine. Any dish soap will be perfectly fine. But Dawn, um, I was noticing because I do felt a lot that my hands would get, um, dry. So I, I do use Dawn, um, probably in the beginning of the felting process. And then I'll add, if my hands start to act up, I'll start using the soap, um, olive oil soap. And actually I'll, I'll leave a link to this brand that I use. If there's any available, I'll, I'll see if I can find um, a link to that. Okay. So ties, you're going to need something to tie your project off once you have, um, rolled up your project. So, um, I just use pantyhose. Um, you can use uh, yarn if you have that. Um, you can use, uh, I've seen people use Velcro. Um, I just find this easy because it's something that you probably already have in the house. You just cut off the legs and then you just tie it around and it actually, it, I mean, it stretches. So you have like leeway. I just like using the pantyhose. And actually the, um, when I do um, birdhouses and stuff like that, I use this this portion, like the thigh and buttocks portion, <laughs> to put um, the ball inside and then tie it up. So the whole pantyhose is used in my house. <laughs> Once they have a hole in it, they're mine. I take them to the felting room. Okay, this is um, a PVC pipe that I cut for my table legs. Um, if you're gonna felt, you need obviously a surface. If you're first, if you're just beginning in your felting, you can use um, your kitchen table. Just kick everybody out. <laughs> if you want to expand and have um, more room in your felting, this is a two six foot tables actually put together. And I'll show you here. I have the the PVC pipes on the bottom, and every single 
table is probably different in the size um, of what you're gonna purchase for your PVC pipe. So I can't really tell you like what diameter to, to get for the pipe, but I can tell you that I cut mine to 10 inches. So each, each one of these is 10 inches and then I just slid it onto um, my table leg. And I got that at Home Depot or Lowe's, one of them. Okay, so I have here also, so we're working our way down. Um, tea kettle, probably got that at like Goodwill or some sort of um, consignment shop. My uh, suggestion to you is to go to Goodwill and see if you can find a, a tea kettle. Don't waste your money on getting a brand new one. So that is for um, certain projects, not all projects. This is a foot massager. <laughs> I believe I got this on Amazon. Uh, and when I got it, I think it was $3. I think it's like six or seven now, but still that's a deal. Um, I, this is my go-to felting tool. I use this practically every single project that I have that I'm doing. This is also like a massager that you can use. These are just things that you might have around your house that I'm showing you. Here's another one. Let's see, this rolls back and forth. Um, you have one like this. That would work. Roll that back and forth. Um, see if I can find the link to this one here so that you can uh, purchase it yourself. And if it's like $7, I mean, yeah, go for it. Um, heartfelt, I think it's heartfelt s silk. Heartfelt? I don't know. I think it's heartfelt. Um, they have like a round one um, with with the handle. It was out of my price range um, to get that. So I bought this and this works fine. But um, if, if I think it's like $50, it might actually be more. But I'll leave the link to that one below if that's something that you would um, want to purchase. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So this is actually some packaging. And you'll know in the felting world, once you start, that if there's packaging that comes in the mail, you're gonna probably save it. <laughs> because packaging is like gold in felting. So this is for needle felting. Um, and sometimes you will need to needle felt some things in your wet felting projects. So um, I would pick up a few needles, uh, felting needles, and if you have any packaging or foam or something like that, save your foam. <laughs> Okay, let's see. You will need bubble wrap. You will need um, duct tape if you have a big piece and you need to duct tape um, the bubble wrap together to make a, a larger piece of bubble wrap. This is my hand sander and um, I use this periodically. I just added some bubble wrap to the bottom. I'll leave the link below to the brand and the, the exact model that I have. Um, I have neuropathy so I really like this one because um, it doesn't vibrate as much so my hands don't hurt. So I really do recommend this, not just for that but it's, it's quiet, it's just, it's really nice. It works really great. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, rubber gloves for the hot water. Uh, pool noodle. This one is like a dollar store one. It bends fairly easy. And then I have one here that I probably got at maybe like a five below or something. Um, it's quite thicker than the one that was at the dollar store. If you can see, see the difference there. Um, this one definitely doesn't bend as much, which um, I'd like if I'm doing a bigger project. Okay, so let's see. Do, do, do scissors. These are pretty good scissors. Um, you'll probably want really good scissors in felting um, if you're going to cut a piece of material or um, some yarn or something like that. Let's see. Okay, so... 
I have some screening here, and the reason why I have screening is because a lot of people like to use tool, and um, I'm not a fan of it. Um, but you may be, so that's great. If you if it works for you, hey, go ahead and use it. You can use tool. Um, this is what I use. It's a plastic screening. I find that the fibers don't get stuck in this plastic screening. I also find that um, the soap kind of just like, it just feels good. Your hand slips over this very nicely. Um, I also feel like when I'm using my tool, this, it works nicely um, with my tools. Um, but for, I think like the biggest reason for me to not use the tool um, was because the fibers would get stuck in it. You can also use, um, geez, and I should have brought some over here. You can use like a, um, a sheer curtain, just like a curtain for, for a window. You can use a sheer curtain. Um, that would work just as fine too. Um, and I actually, I prefer that over the tool um, because the fibers don't stick to that nearly as much as the tool either. So this is um, more packaging. <laughs> so I have like a thicker um, uh, plastic here, the foam, I would actually call it. And, um, and this one's more thin. This is for like resists. And we'll get to that in, in one of my um, videos down the road. But um, if, if you uh, get any packaging in the mail, make sure you save, <laughs> make sure you save your packaging, um, including like the bigger thick pieces. I even save, um, we, we had a big, I don't know if I have it over here, but we had, we had a, a big box that came in the mail and it, there was like, really thick cardboard and i think i'm going to use that in one of my felting projects to give it some some texture i mean it was like really thick almost like wood thick so <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna figure that out i'll do that at some point <laughs> but yeah packaging is is gold in the the felting world so i think i covered everything um i would say the main the main things that you will need are water soap, bubble wrap, and a surface to felt on. So out of everything that I have shown you, those are the main things that you'll need. Soap, water, bubble wrap, surface. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I will be happy to answer your question. Next week's video will be about um, the fibers that you can use the embellishment fibers that you can use in wet felting and in nuno felting. And at some point I would love to do a video on um, non fibers for embellishment, such as things that you can find outdoors. So stay tuned for that somewhere down the road. If no one's told you this week, you are loved, you are beautiful, you are worthy. Take care, see you next week, bye-bye.